Can you hear me, Dave? swingers how are you guys doing today i see we got 14 people on right now i'm gonna pop into the comments 
guys, why don't you go ahead and tell me where you're from? I'm here in Pasadena, California, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about what I've been working on for years and years. I know you guys have been following me for a long time. Some of you guys are pretty new to the Over the Top Miracle Swing. If any of you guys have tried the Miracle Swing, can you tell me in the comments? I'm just waiting for the last few people to jump on board here before I dive into my presentation. So who do we have here? Jason in Chicago. All right, Jason, have you tried the Miracle Swing? And Have you tried going OTT yet? Love to hear if anybody else has tried it. I was surprised on the last call. Uh, several people really had only recently learned about what I do. Um, right on. So, Stuart, Orange County, good to hear from you. Hope you're doing great. That's well, there's a couple of Orange Counties. I'm assuming it's right down here in uh, in California. So, guys, as we're all gathering in here, I'm going to start in just a second. I'm curious now. Tell me if you can shoot in the 80s. So if, if you don't want to type it in the chat, just let me know. Would you like to be able to break 80? That's the first question I, I want to ask because that was something I couldn't do for over 20 years was break 80. And uh, the next question I'd like to ask is, would you like to break par? So I'm not sure if anybody on this chat has broken par. Um, very small percentage of people can actually break par. And then the last question I'd like to ask you is something kind of kind of interesting. Would you like to go to Jack Nicholas's house? So I think that's pretty crazy because when I started this whole journey, I never thought any of those things would come true for me, but they have. So I'm really living the dream. And with that, I would like to start to jump into my presentation here. And this is my new company. It's the Miracle Swing LLC. It's a golf instruction company. If you've been watching my Swing Evolution, which became the Miracle Swing, obviously, you know, I'm all about improving at the game of golf. But there's one distinction that I'm going to point out to you that's very important. We're also an entertainment media company. And I'm going to be digging into that a lot more as we go through this presentation. Now, as I start, I'm going to show you a little picture here. OK, now this picture is it's a little cartoon. It's kind of funny. Looks like a guy's fishing out in the middle of the ocean. Now, this picture is very interesting to me because it encapsulates the entire presentation that I'm going to be giving you in this one single image of this guy fishing. OK, now I'll tell you in about 10 minutes. I'll give you the explanation why. This picture is so important to the miracle swing. But the thing that's crazy is when I explain this to you, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Why this is such an incredible opportunity and what it's going to do is open your eyes to how the entire golf industry missed something that was right underneath their nose. So let's move on to slide two. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is first, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem in golf. This is what I faced with my journey that people, some people have been following me since the beginning. 2011 is when I started my YouTube channel. It's incredible how far we've come. But the second thing I'm going to talk about is what my solution was to the biggest problem in golf. OK, next, I'm going to introduce you to my all star team that has come on board to work with me at the Miracle Swing LLC. These guys are incredible. I can't wait to tell you about them. And next, we're going to tell you our plans to take the Miracle Swing worldwide. We're doing fantastically well right now, but now it's time to scale it into a global golf brand. And that's what's Terribly, terribly exciting for me because I'd love for you to be a part of the team. I think you can make an awful lot of money if we do this and execute it right. And we're going to explain our plan of attack to you, which I feel is pretty darn strong. And what's even cooler, as an owner in the Miracle Swing LLC, you'll have your fingerprints on the history of golf. Isn't that pretty cool? Now, one thing that's important to mention is this is a limited offering. 
We've raised $160,000 so far. We have another $125,000 in the pipeline from this current raise. And we are hoping to close this out before the Masters one month from now. But I'll tell you what, if it's not closed out by the time we get to the Masters, I'm doing a presentation at the Masters for potential investors at a big pitch conference with just golf professionals. And I am absolutely certain that this round will be closed at the Masters if we don't close it beforehand. And the last thing I want to tell you before I move on is if you are an investor that is interested in owning a piece of the Miracle Swing, if you hit a certain threshold, you can come to the Masters with us. We'll buy your ticket. So how cool is that? If you've never been to the Masters, we'd love to invite you to come with us as a part of our Miracle Swing dream team. So with that, let's get into my story, who I am, and how I wound up in front of this computer talking to you about my new company. So the problem with golf is golf is hard. Golf is just hard. I mean, my gosh, it can drive you crazy. I quit golf for four years in my 20s. I swore I'd never pick up a golf club again. I was shooting a score over 120. It was, I mean, I had just quit counting strokes at that point. And I quit the game for four years. Then in 1997, I was living with some roommates, watching the Masters. One of my roommates was an avid golfer. And he's like, Christo, you should come out and play golf. And when I watched Tiger Woods win that event by 12 strokes, I made a promise to myself that I would pick the game back up on one condition. I would always keep my cool. When I had quit the game, it was because I was so frustrated. I was throwing clubs, cursing, and I actually made a fool out of myself. And that's not the way my dad taught me to play the game. So you're never going to see me throw clubs and act like a jackass on the golf course. That was the promise I made if I was going to take the game back up. So at 28, Another guy that I was friends with promised to help me with my golf game. So we went out and played a round of golf in Tampa and I shot 126. He made me putt everything out. I wanted to pick him up and he made me putt everything out. And I shot 126 at 28 years old. So that's pretty humbling. Now, over the next 20 years or so, well, this is like, you know, I couldn't break 80 to save my life. The lowest round I can recall, I shot 83 with my buddy, Mark. And when I think back to it, we each gave one another a mulligan on each nine. So that, that 83 was probably closer to an 87. And on a launch monitor, the farthest I could hit a ball was 250 something. Most of my drives that were solid were 240, 242, 243, that kind of range. And to be honest, I was embarrassed about the way I played the game of golf. I felt ashamed. Okay, so that's the problem that every golfer faces. We feel shame. We feel embarrassed. We're on the first tee. People are watching us. We get super duper nervous. And if you don't have a swing you can rely on, even if you love the game, it can be torture. Now, I'm going to play a short video clip for you just to tell you a little bit about another part of my background that's a little bit different. But I was a professional athlete, and I did a lot of other things before I really focused on golf. And this is just to let you know that, I mean, golf is not easy. So I'm just going to show you a minute or two of this video of me doing some other things that are pretty complex movement wise. And I think that this is one of the reasons why my take on the golf swing is absolutely unique. So I've always had this fascination with movement, uh, the beauty of movement, whether it's a good basketball player, wide receiver, you know, a great pitcher or home run hitter, somebody who can smash a golf ball, martial arts. All of these different forms of movement are just spectacular and beautiful. And they all have a flow to them when a person achieves 
a high level of mastery. And that is so that's the deal is you have to acquire a mastery of the movement. You have to acquire a flow to the way the body moves. Biomechanics are very specific and golf is very complex biomechanically because if you have a couple of pieces out of place, the body isn't going to rotate properly. Okay. And that has to do with the miracle itself. So I'm going to move forward a little bit. Now I'm going to show you my swing from when I started my journey. Okay. This is the swing of a poor golfer that is a 90 shooter that can sometimes shoot over a hundred and on those blessed days can shoot in the eighties. And then I'm going to show you my swing now, the miracle swing. And I think you're going to be able to see very clearly that these two golfers are completely different. So let's watch this before and after of my golf swing. Hey. <laughs> so, guys, tell me, what do you think about that? Obviously, the first guy playing golf can't even break 90 regularly, but the second player is a guy who can play in the 70s. My lowest handicap is 2.2. I'm still working on getting the scratch. I got to clean up my short game, but that's a world of difference. And I think that 97% of golfers in the world would take my game today. I think it's a really small percentage of golfers that can actually break par. And so I've gone on a journey that I think most of the world of golf would like to go on. It's a journey of self-improvement. It's a journey of discovery. But I'll tell you, it's not going to happen for 99% of golfers. They just don't have, they don't have the understanding of the golf swing to be able to make this journey on their own. So that's why I'm here and that's to help people. Okay, so let's talk about what I did to change my life. The first thing I did was I switched back to the classic swing. When I was in high school, I took lessons with a very famous golf instructor and he took my classic swing and he told me, okay, we're going to keep our feet planted, okay? And then we're going to turn our, our upper body against a stable lower body. And we're going to swing on plane, okay? So I was taught the swing in the 70s where you lift the lead heel, where you allow your lower body to move, and then you shift your weight. And that was all taken away from me uh, when I began studying the modern swing. But when I picked up this book, Ben Hogan's Five Lessons, in it, he says something very interesting. And this is why I started my YouTube channel. He said, as I see it, there's nothing difficult about golf, nothing. I see no reason truly why the average golfer, if he goes about it intelligently, shouldn't play in the 70s. I bought this book and I haven't looked back. In 2011, I started my swing evolution. Now, would you believe it? In three months, I shot a 79. That first year, I broke 80 14 times. In three years, I shot under par. In five years, I was an ambassador of the Ben Hogan Golf Company. The CEO who knew Ben Hogan called me up and said, how would you like to be a member of the Ben Hogan family. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? Then the very next year, the Golf Channel hired me to swing as Ben Hogan's double in their special Hogan. Isn't that just amazing? Now, the thing that's incredible is I began lifting my lead heel again, using my lower body, swinging in the classic style. I was playing some really good golf, but I was still more inconsistent than I would like to be. I still felt like there were some days 
when I just couldn't get any leverage on the golf club. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. Have you ever felt like you get to the golf course one day and you don't know how to swing the club? That would happen to me regularly. So I always had to be at the golf course about 40 minutes, an hour before I played to try and see you know, which way the ball was going, okay? Now, this next video, I'm going to show you the miracle that changed my life that we want to take to the world to change the world of golf instruction forever. So let's just watch this short video. It's a few minutes long, but this will explain the miracle. Sacred step number four is the miracle move. This move is going to unlock your championship potential. I've found the best way for me to be able to continue to rotate is inside up, slightly over, down, and through the shot. This miracle move changed my life. That was as pure as anything I've ever hit in my life. It still freaks me out. I can't believe it works so well. Hey guys, let's take a look at the top 10 winners in the history of the PGA Tour, starting with Tom Watson. I figured out the golf swing in 1992. I got tired of hitting the ball fat, I got tired of hitting the ball out to the right. And I said, to hell with it. I'm gonna hit over, I'm gonna hit over the top of it like this. I want that ball to start straight. So I changed my golf swing right then and there, and it felt like this. <laughs> it felt like that. But in, but what happened, it was going here and here like this. So if we take a quick look at Tom Watson's swing, we can see that now he is a committed over-the-top swinger. Next, we have Phil Mickelson, one of the all-time greats, and we can see he takes it back to the inside, and he is also an over-the-top swinger. Next is the great Walter Hagen, inside and over the top. Now, if we take a look at Billy Casper, we're going to see one of the most underrated players in history with an over-the-top golf swing. Next is Byron Nelson. Look at that move. Arnold Palmer is another great champion. He is also inside and over the top. Now my idol, Ben Hogan, was the one who surprised me the most. Here we see him inside and over the top. Jack Nicklaus, whom I had the pleasure of interviewing in his home, is also inside and over the top. Now that brings us to the great Tiger Woods. Here he is rehearsing his over-the-top move. And although he doesn't have a big over-the-top swing, after he hurt his back, he made a decided effort to swing more OTT. And finally, we have the great Sam Snead, one of the greatest over-the-top swingers of all time. And there you have it. The top 10 winners in the history of the PGA Tour are all over-the-top swingers. And the reason why is because the best way to leverage the club is by going over the top. So guys, I turned 55 this Monday. I was born in 1969. I picked up the game in the 1970s. I've been alive long enough to watch the fads come and go in the world of golf instruction. What's absolutely crazy is I just showed you the top 10 winners in the history of the PGA Tour, and they are all over the top swingers. But if you're like me, you probably got brainwashed that over the top is bad. Nothing could be further from the truth. So now I'd like to reveal the mystery of the photo, the picture that I showed you at the beginning of the presentation. You see this guy standing out in the middle of the ocean and he's fishing on what looks like a little tiny island. But if you look to the left, you'll notice that there's a giant fin behind him. 
This is an image that comes from a saying that I got from the great man, Joseph Campbell. And it's a Tahitian saying, standing on a whale, fishing for minnows. So the entire world of golf is standing on a whale, fishing for minnows. They're trying to do shallowing, laying it off, dropping it under, all these crazy things in the golf swing when the simplest and easiest way to hit a golf ball effectively is with an over-the-top move. Now, if you do an over-the-top move from the wrong position, the way they teach the backswing nowadays, you're not going to be able to hit the ball well. You're going to hit a slice, okay? But if you do an inside takeaway the way the greatest players in history did it, you can swing over the top without any fear, leverage the golf club, and start hitting the greatest shots of your life. So we are in a unique position where we can take advantage of this lost swing art and present it to the world. So far, it's been an incredible, incredible success. So with that, I'd like to show you a short promo for the new production. We have a seven video series. This is our hero product, and it is the over the top music. easy do you believe in miracles thousands of golfers all around the world are already believers I believe in miracles. get ready to experience the fastest growing movement in golf brought to you by golf sensation Christo Garcia the man who swung as Ben Hogan on the golf track the top 10 winners in the history of the PGA Tour are all over-the-top swingers. You just found something, in my opinion, that was just hidden right underneath our noses. Today, golfers all around the world are finally discovering the truth about the golf swing. <laughs> there we go. How does that feel? Oh, thank you. It just looks so easy. Shot a 69. Wow. It's clicked in. That's so this whole inside over the top deal is just makes it so much easier. The seven sacred steps of the over the top miracle swing is a course specifically designed to end the swing confusion that modern golf instruction has created. Now's your chance to join the fastest growing movement in golf. Get ready to believe in miracles by saving over 50% off the retail price with our pre-sale at MiracleSwingExperience.com. You'll believe in miracles too. Guys, I am so proud of that. A full year of work went into rebranding, recreating the entire business from the ground up. We filmed at three of the greatest golf courses in the country. I filmed at Champions in Houston, Texas, which I was just invited by the Burke family to visit the week after the Masters. It's just incredible. We filmed at the Grand Del Mar, the only five-star golf resort in Southern California, and we filmed on the same cameras that they used to shoot Top Gun 2. This is the highest production value instructional video on the market. I'm, I'm really, really proud of it. And I want to thank all of our investors that came on board to help us create that. Greg and Eric, you guys made that possible. So that was just incredible. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a short video of testimonials. Okay. The most remarkable thing about the over-the-top miracle swing is the number of testimonials. I've received thousands of messages from people all around the world, from professionals down to rank amateurs who are all, their mind is blown. They can't believe how much easier it is to hit a golf ball if you just go over the top the correct way. So let's take a moment, just look at a few of my students. And when you see the joy on their faces, can you only imagine what I must feel like that I'm sharing this with people today? I'm working on the over the top miracle swing. Look at, Look at that. that. Yeah, I shot a 72 with Balboa and it was easy. I'm feeling good. That felt 
<laughs> Very comfortable. Right no on. No pain. <laughs> My clubhead speed was always like 85, and it's reading 105. What club is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OTT baby guys can you imagine how happy these people are and this one picture of my friend David he couldn't swing because he hurt his back so much now I'll tell you one of the last swings that I made before I discovered the over-the-top miracle swing I pinched a nerve in my back this dropping it under business crunches your lumbar vertebrae I hit the ground on my knees and I was afraid my golfing career was ended. I was like, it felt like somebody stuck a knife in my back. But the over the top miracle swing is the way you can play pain free. Sam Sneed played until his 80s. He played competent golf into his 60s. He was in his early 60s and came in third place in the PGA Championship. It's the most effective, it's the simplest, and it's a pain-free golf swing. And we're seeing tons of PGA players like Victor Hovland, Matthew Fitzpatrick, Brooks Kepka. They all do OTT moves. So it works. Now, so I want to talk about a couple friends of mine. These are both people that I happen to know. I've talked to them, taken lessons with them. These are people that I aspire to, okay? We've worked really hard to build our company and we're ready to get to that next level. Now, George Gankus is a Southern California teacher. He was actually discovered by my team members. He was plucked from obscurity, created a YouTube channel for him and started his first membership site. So George was unknown 10 years ago. Now he's on the cover of Golf Digest and last year, I was told he made $4.2 million in online golf instruction. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? Now, the interesting thing is George has a pretty good YouTube channel. He's got 1.8 million views, and YouTube is the primary driver of online instruction sales. Now, 1.8 million, that's not too bad. I have 29 million views. I have over 27 million more views than George Gankus. Now, the next person I want to tell you about is Brixton Albert. He's the founder of Performance Golf. In 2020, Performance Golf made $12 million. In 2021, they made $29 million. Today, you're seeing Performance Golf ads all over the place. They are the industry leader. I have a friend who produces videos for performance golf, and he said they're closing in on $100 million a year. They are killing it, absolutely killing it. Now, I'll tell you, they've got great marketers, great advertisements, copy, sales pages, email sequences. They leverage their big teacher names, Faldo, Hank Haney, et cetera. But check it out. If you watch the Over the Top Miracle Swing, I've got Jack Nicholas, Gary Player, Chi Chi Rodriguez, Jim McLean, and Jackie Burke. So I have just as much authority in the miracle swing as these guys have for certain. Now, one of the things that's interesting is performance golf, they've only got 17 million views and they're spending 30, 40 million dollars a year in ads. So I've got 12 million more views. Than performance golf. I've got eyeballs. People are watching what I'm doing. Now let's take a quick snapshot at what I've done to date. Okay. I've sold $700,000 worth of online instruction. That is click and buy. There is no inventory. There's no shipping cost. It just goes right into the business bank account. I've sold $2 million worth of golf clubs, mostly for the Ben Hogan Golf Company, which I will be representing the new brand in a whole new deal. We're doing a bunch of big things together. Now, my YouTube channel has 29 million views. That's nothing to sneeze at. But I've bootstrapped this whole thing, basically making videos with my cell phone. If you cut me loose, I'll be able to go bananas. 
But the point that I'm making is I've sold $700,000 worth of online instruction without an advertising budget, without any funnels, without a good email marketer. I've just done this kind of like by accident, you could almost say, because I really, that's not my genius, okay? That's why I have my teammates. They came to me and said, Christo, you are sitting on the number one golf instruction product in the world with the over-the-top miracle swing. You just don't know it yet. I'm like, you really think so? So they, they convinced me to rebrand. They convinced me to create this entirely new product. They convinced me to make a seven video series, okay? A course is much more valuable than a single instruction video and create ancillary products. This is so important. So how we stand out is with polarization. Everybody in golf is telling you, do not swing over the top. I'm the only person saying swing over the top. It is an absolutely polarizing phrase that drives people crazy. It's driving clicks on social media. I'm getting millions of clicks a month on Twitter for telling people to swing over the top. So the message attracts attention. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to point out is we are creating a movement. This movement for the miracle swing harkens back to the way the great old timers swung the golf club with a lot more fluidity and grace. And people want to embrace the purity and be a part of this movement because it's bigger than just a swing. We're doing something to change golf and bring it back to the greatness that it once had. Now, I want to show you something real quick. I, I say that I have a superpower in the world of golf, but the first thing I want to do is show you a, a short 30-second commercial. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You guys want to play for some money? How much cash you got? Because I'm going to take all of it. Top tier players expect exceptional performance from the footwear. Square's patented design delivers power and performance shot after shot. Crushed it. Come on, fellas, I'm your fourth. Good shot. We're in trouble. Square's, the performance golf shoe. That's kind of a fun little spot. Now, if you watch the PGA or LPGA this weekend on the Golf Channel or on NBC, you're probably going to see these commercials for Squares golf shoes that I made. Okay. The owner of Squares reached out to me to revamp his entire marketing campaign because he said, this year we want to blow Squares up into a hundred million plus brand. And we want you to help us with the marketing. So that brings me to my superpower, which is I am the only golf instructor influencer who's made over a hundred TV series, films, commercials. My shows have won an Emmy award, a Peabody. I even won a best director award at an international film festival. I even write novels. Look at my book, Jack Dagger. I predicted the record would be broken last year at the U.S. Open at L.A. Country Club. No other person working in golf has my background in media. My brother's the vice president of Lucasfilm, for Christ's sake. I can make media like nobody's ever seen. And why am I making media for squares when I should be doing it for the miracle swing? That's what this raise is all about to give me a little runway so I can do what I do best. And once we get started, nobody's gonna be able to keep up with us. Now listen, the Over the Top Miracle Swing has already sold $130,000. We've proven market fit. People love the product. People are getting better at golf. People are telling their friends. All we need to do is spread the message further. And the only way we can do that is by scaling with competent advertising. Let's take a look at some of the products we have. Over the top Miracle Swing, we've got Miracle Drive. I'm going to be updating it. Miracle Health is one of my best-selling programs. It's outstanding. It's already created. We're going to be creating Miracle Putting, Miraculous Short Game, and Miracle Mindset. And then I plan on building up 
many other stars in the Miracle Swing brand. Now we have shirts, polos, coffee mugs. The brand is coming on. Our store is dynamite. People will start wearing our logos and be walking billboards for the brand. This is the Miracle Swing OTT checklist. No other company in the world has this. Okay, this is a, a simple checklist that fits in your back pocket. Each one of the lessons has a QR code that links right to a short lesson video. So you can go through the pictures, bring this on the golf course and shoot with your phone this QR code and get a short video lesson that's world class. We have Miracle Swing experiences. I am talking to some of the biggest courses in the country, U.S. Open courses, to hold Miracle Swing experiences all around the country. These live in-person clinics are going to be very valuable for our brand. Now, next is the Miracle Swing certification program for golf instructors. When golfers become Miracle Swing instructors, they will be spreading the message worldwide. I can only meet so many golfers in person, but when I have a hundred Miracle Swing instructors, that's a half a million bucks right there just in their registration fees to become a Miracle Swing instructor. But then I've got a hundred me's out there spreading the message to other golfers that buy the products and become a part of the Miracle Swing movement. Now, I want to tell you about the people that changed my life. This is Gabriel Ryder, his father, Greg Ryder. They're the ones that sat me down last year and said, Christo, you've got a really great product here. Wow, you've got $700,000 in online sales. That's pretty incredible considering there's no shipping cost. You just click and buy. But we think you're sitting on a seven or eight figure brand. Why don't you let us do what we do so we can scale this into the multi-millions? And with that, I would like to introduce my partners, Gabriel Ryder and Greg Ryder. Gabe, are you ready to rock? Yeah, I'm just going to remove this screen a little bit so I can uh, be a little bit bigger on camera. Thank you, Krista, for having me on today. Uh, thank you for everybody that's joining us and watching right now. This was a vision that came to me, I believe, from God. Um, when I talked to Christo and he was telling me about the over the top miracle swing and, you know, at first it didn't make sense that he was telling people to swing inside and over the top. But when I saw Sam Snead, Arnold Palmer, um, Jackie Burke and the legends of the game doing this, it made perfect sense. And for you guys to have a little bit of my background, I, I had the number one golf YouTube channel in the States for about six to seven years. Um, uh, like Christo mentioned, I'm the one who launched and scaled George Genkis. Um, so we, we, when we met him, he had about 10,000 Instagram followers and he went on to being one of the most famous golf instructors of our time, working with some of the greatest players being on the cover of golf digest and just being a phenomenal instructor. So I've had some good successes at picking movements and trends in golf. And when Crystal told me that he was telling people to swing over the top, I said like that that's very polarizing. It's very different. It's the opposite of what everyone's teaching. And from a marketing background, that's going to really help us. And Crystal's proven that over the last year and a half. Um, it's just a very polarizing statement. He's getting lots of comments and attention on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube um, about the name primarily, but no one knocks the method. And you can't because it's based off the legends of the game. Over the top is just a very evergreen keyword. Um, I used to be a golf instructor. So what's being typed into the keywords and into Google, into YouTube is over the top fix, over the top drill. And we're telling people, hey, you don't need to fix your over the top. You just need to swing it over the top the right way. And like Christo mentioned, you know, his superpower is to be able to make content. I've worked with a lot of instructors that can't make content. They're not good in front of the camera. They can't speak. They, they can't navigate and guide people. They're great at teaching golfers in real life. But when it comes to being on camera or producing anything, uh, most of them are just non-existent. So with Christo, the same thing we did for George Gankis, one of my last clients, Pours at Golf, is one of the fastest growing golf instructors in the world right now. Hit 100K subscribers on YouTube. Membership sites doing phenomenal. Um, we, we were behind that as well. Is they need a team, right? So George never filmed a video, never edited a video, didn't build his membership site, wasn't sending out emails, wasn't running ads. We were the team behind that 
that made that happen, that gave George the exposure he needed to become a global movement. So no one does this without a proper team. Crystal's just one person. He can't be running a six, seven man team to really get this to the level that the product is. It gets results. Crystal's had hundreds, probably thousands of testimonials from all across the world of all the people who watch his YouTube videos on the Over the Top Miracle Swing, whether it's taught in, in his clinics or his personal lessons. So this vision came to me. I brought it to Christo. He said yes, and we're wor working on making this dream and vision a reality, which comes up to this next part with my father. My father's been teaching internet marketing for over 20 plus years. He built the first funnel, internet marketing funnel for George Genkis back in 2016. So my father has had his fingerprint in the background with some of the biggest instructors in the name of golf that, that no one knows. So I'm about to bring my father on about 30 seconds here. And he's going to walk you through just the overview of how you actually scale somebody like Christo, who has a phenomenal service, has a polarizing statement on what we're for, what we're against that attracts you know, what our target demographic is, is golfers over 50 and, um, you know, how we just logistically do that to scale with ads through marketing funnels, through exposure and everything else. So, Greg, can you hop on here for a sec? Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? OK. Hey, we, we got the we got the writer son and the writer father both wearing blue today. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I, I don't have my Miracle Swing merch. I, I got my launch cart merch on, but. I always like to tell people we, we got to be sporting our merch everywhere we go. So um, I'm excited. I got to say that, that that was a fantastic presentation uh, by, by Christo. Um, you know, it, it, you know, you have a really fun and hot deal that every time you read your own business plan or every time you hear your own pitch, you get more excited. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like we've been working on this messaging and working on this languaging and working on this storyline for over a year now. And now we're like, OK, let's put the pedal to the metal and let's leverage the season of golf. Right. Right. It's spring. Everyone's starting to get off the golf course and open up. This is the time to do it. So I have a few slides that I want to kind of show because I want to show from my background, former investment banker turned digital marketer in 1997, done hundreds of millions of dollars of revenues online. And I really think of myself and our team as some of the top in the world at buying and converting traffic. And I want to kind of show a few slides to kind of lend some credibility to that statement. So let me pull up my screen and we're going to share this deck right here. So the first thing I want to kind of talk about really is just what's possible. Because for those of you who are out there and you just, you just don't, you, you've never seen this, right? You just don't know what's possible. I'm going to show you what's possible. And what makes this so fantastic is the fact that we're selling a digital product, videos, checklists, things of that nature that are delivered online. You have this cost of goods to build the product once, but there's no cost of goods to manufacture it over and over and again, unlike this shirt, right? So that's what enables us to do some things that they're so exciting. So let me go ahead and go into this and show you what's possible. So I teach, and I'm one of these guys that believes whoever can spend the most to acquire a customer wins. And the, the premise for that is, if I can spend money profitably to acquire a customer, I win. And that goes back to uh, Crystal's reference to performance golf. They spend a lot of money, but generate a lot of revenue. And to give you an idea of what's possible, uh, here's a screenshot of a campaign that we were running ads to with the hot product. You have to have all the ingredients. You have to have a hot product. You have to have good media, all that kind of stuff. But look at this. We spent $1.5 million in ad spend. Uh, we got in front of 43 million people. We drove 121 million impressions and we drove 22.5 million clicks. That generated $9 million in revenues, 208,000 orders. Okay. And this was in, you can see in the top right, this was a screenshot from January 19 to, to uh, July 31st, 2019. So this is, we were scaling some e commerce products. And it even blows my mind that literally in, you know, seven months, you can collect 208,000 credit cards. It's incredible. It really is mind boggling. And then here's another store showing about what's going on. Here's another store we drove over 2 million visitors to. We had a 2.35% conversion rate, drove $3.3 million, right? And 98,000 orders. And this was like literally, um, we were selling stuff and we had to stop because our supply chain from China, we had to stop. But look at that. 
that's like a month's period of time. So when you have a great product, you have a great team, and you know what you're doing, you can scale this stuff. Here's one that we started and launched, and within the from December 17th to January 7th, we started driving revenue. Now, I want to make this point clear. When we did this, we were spending money. So to generate $2 million in sales in you know a month and a half, we probably spent 600000 in advertising. Right? It just doesn't show up. Like you spend the money and you convert the, 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 the traffic you're buying profitably and it can be it can just change everything you're doing. So I'm going to show you go back here. So going back to some real world stats, um, here is here is a stat from a from our testing, our little test market that we did. And we sold 124 orders at a one point two percent conversion rate and we generate twenty nine thousand in revenues. Now, that's no cost of goods. Remember, that's just pure. You know, you're delivering a digital good. You got your merchant fees. But then we did some optimizations. Oops, my, my thing's going off. And we, we optimized a few things. And you can see here, our conversions went up to 6.8%. 6.8%. So 1,400 visitors, 98 orders, 6.8%. So by spinning the dials and testing colors and buttons and headlines and things that we're doing is, is what we do, right? And then that leads to what we call a funnel. So we're buying, let's say, and this is just one example. We're buying traffic from Facebook. We're sending that to the sales page. We're converting people to the sales page. And you do, we use all these tools to measure what we're doing and how we're doing it and track the numbers of the potential revenue of what we're going. And I actually have um, a, a tool that I, I'm going to log into real quick. Let's see if it pops up. Uh, let's see if I get the right one. We have a tool that we use, and again, this is just, just, just from an educational standpoint. Real marketers do what we call track and optimize. And if we tell people, if you can't track it, you can't optimize it, and you're probably not going to be profitable, and you can't do what we do. So we use really highly sophisticated tools and things to measure every little click, every little scroll through, every, everything about this. And then we use tools like this to simulate how much money we can make with what we're doing. And the whole reason I'm showing you this is I want you to understand that this is what real digital marketers do. So just that little screenshot right there, I'm going to hit simulate, and this is going to simulate uh, how much money we would make. So right here is uh, on the right-hand side, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says, hey, we spend $40,000 uh, a month in ad spend, okay? And on this particular model, we're converting, let me see, the conversion rate's 1.22%. So based on that conversion rate and that traffic, we would net $27,000 in profit. That's pretty good, right? Spending $40,000 and netting $27,000. So we got our $40,000 back and now an extra $27,000. So we're at $67,000 in the bank. But when you take that same scenario and you say, let's, let's, let's increase that to 6%, which is obviously no guarantees we can, we can do this, but this is what we do. So we go 6.8% conversion rate. And now we're spending the same $40,000 and we hit simulate, and now it runs it and says, now we're, now we're making some serious profit. It's like we're, we're making a lot of profit. And then we have this little report tool over here, and we go to our, our forecast, and our, let me just go back to the project summary. So we look at this, we can say how much money we would generate, how much money we would generate annually, what our profit would be. And again, this doesn't take into consideration the team and the expenses and you know things of that nature. But because we're selling a digital product, our profit margins are extremely high. So I just kind of wanted to sh share that with you so you kind of understand that we really are digital marketers. We really understand what's going on. And with Gabriel on him helping and, and working with, with Christo, Christo giving him, I love what Christo said earlier. It's, he, it's not his genius. And I always coach, if it's not your genius, it's not your job. You need to put people on your team that that is their genius. And when you round that out, that's how you scale and build massive wealth for people. Okay. Okay. So now going back to the opportunity, uh, here's the opportunity. So we're doing a $500,000 offering. We currently have, oh, 50, oh I think it's 50,000 in the bank done. We have uh, indication of interest. We're having documents reviewed. And people are filling out documents, I think for 125,000. Um, pretty close. So we're about 175,000. So we're going to do a total of $500,000. Now this represents a 10% ownership in Miracle Swing. A 
10% ownership in Miracle Swing, which basically means we're valuing all this intellectual property and everything that Crystal's put together and all this brand equity at a $5 million valuation. So you're getting in at a $5 million valuation. Now, whenever we do investments, we talk about two things, the return of investment, because we know it's important. You want to get your money back. And then you also want to make a return on investment. So what we did is we said, let's put together an offer that is so strong and so powerful. You really have a hard time saying no. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take 20% of the net operating income. We're going to be distributed to you, the investor, on a prorated share until 150% of your investment has been recouped. Okay. So you put in 10,000, you're going to get back 15,000. And once that's done, then you're not going to get that 20% net, net operating income, but you're still going to maintain your prorated share of your, of your ownership. And I'll, again, I'll answer any questions you have about this. And net operating income is defined as gross revenues minus the merchant fees and returns and the ad spend on the product. So literally, you know, you're talking about maybe 5%. So if we do 100 grand, 5% is re refunds, merchant fees. Now we have 95,000 left. We're going to take 20% of that money and we're going to distribute it to you on a quarterly basis until you've recouped 150% uh, on your money. We This literally could be in the next 12 months, you get your money back and it could be three months. It could be 18 months. I can't tell you exactly what that is because we don't know how it's going to scale. But we believe there's so many golfers around the globe. This is a global product. This is going to be a very, very fast for you to recoup your business. But we need that capital to put into the engine to drive that train. Then your return on investment from a long-term standpoint is you're going to have your pro rate of share of profit is going to be distributed at minimum on an annually base on an annual basis and possibly on a quarterly basis. So Christo and I talked about it and he knows that as the profits come in, we're going to be reinvesting some of that money back into some of the product extension and different and different the verticals of training the trainers and training the coaches and stuff. But if there's enough profit, we're going to distribute that through the LLC. It's a limited liability company. So that'll flow through right to your pro rate of share of money. So there's significant upside to this uh, for everyone to get involved. And then you're going to own that that equity forever. Right. So so we're giving you it's kind of like you're getting you're investing your money, you're getting your money back based on income, and then you're getting the long-term ownership of that. Now, what we did is we put together a little form that's like an indication of interest form, and we're going to drop this link in the, the chat box right now. And basically, what we would love for you to do, if you're interested, you go, Greg, I'm interested. Um, I want to put in $10,000. i am interested in $25,000. i am interested in $50,000. i am interested in $100,000. Um, and by the way, I'll, I'll, here's a little tease. If anyone wants to do $100,000, we have access to tickets to the masters. We can get you a ticket to the masters if you're interested in putting up a hundred thousand. And 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 uh, we'll talk. We can talk about that and ask those questions. But this is what the form looks like, and just says fill out this form with your indication of interest to receive the investment docs. Now what happens is, is we have some automation on the back end. You're going to put your name, your email, your phone number, your address, and then right down here where it says subscription amount, you're going to put in ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, whatever that number is. And then if, if, you, if you want to invest from like your LLC or from a trust, you can put your title there. Click the I agree to the terms. Click I'm not a rollback and hit submit. The minute you do that, our system is going to fill out the documents and send them to you. Now, you don't have to fill them out. It's not like a commitment. Where it, it, like You have to review the documents. You have to make sure that you understand the risks. And you know, with any investment, there's risks. You know, there's, there's no guarantee in life. You can lose all your money type thing. Um, but you have to look at what we call the risk reducers. And the risk reducers are Christo Garcia, Greg Ryder, Gabriel Gabriel Ryder. The fact that we have a product up and running. We have the website. We have the big the beginnings of the team. Now, the team's going to grow, which is the other part of this whole thing is we're going to grow this team so we can continue to scale this business. But with our digital marketing skills, we really believe this could hockey stick really, really fast. Um, but the, this way, you can look at the documents. And if everything's ready for you, you can click, click, click and digitally sign the documents, and boom, off that goes to Christo, and Christo signs it. So with that, that's everything that I've got to talk about. I want to bring Christo back up. on. Hey, guys. So here we are. We're back. Uh, Gabriel, are you there? Yes, sir, Christo. I sure am. 
Okay, so guys, this is the over-the-top miracle swing. Now, Greg was just talking about the team, bringing people on. So we have now brought on Justin French, Chief Marketing Officer. He is absolutely incredible. We have Nicole. She's doing our email marketing, building the funnels. This is a key part of everything that we're going to be doing moving forward. And the most exciting thing I'm going to tell you guys about is what we started doing last week. So last week we started testing ads. Okay. So the way this game works is say you test 10 ads and you figure out which one is converting the best. Okay. So last week we started testing four ads. Now, all four of them performed profitably, which is kind of crazy because I see a lot of marketers and they say, nine out of 10 of my ads aren't going to be profitable, but we'll find that one that is. And we go all in and put a ton of money into it. Every one of our ads was converting. It was really crazy. And one was converting at a really high rate. So even though we were just kind of shotgun testing several ads, Last week, we spent 1.9 thousand and made 4.1 thousand back. So that's pretty good, right, Gabe? Hey, that's amazing. You'll do that every day, all day, every month and every year. Yeah. So I was with your dad and we were going through projections and your dad goes, OK, let's put all this in here. Now, this doesn't even bring into the fact that once we acquire a customer, then we've got many more products that we can share with them. We, we're building out Miracle Drive, Miracle Short Game, Miracle Putting, so many other products to sell that person. So even what we're testing right now is we're only testing one product with several ads, but your dad put in the projections and he said that we are operating at a smoking rate that it costs us 50 cents compared to a dollar for the average advertiser on Facebook to get somebody to click and visit the site. And the projections were hockey sticking, just like he said. So that was one of the most exciting things I've ever experienced. Um, so, Gabe, I really, really feel that, you know, I want to try and close up this investment this week at the Masters. We have pitch sessions on Friday. Uh, I'd love for you guys to come on board. We are ready to take this all the way. We are ready to scale it. We have the team in place. We have proven over and over again. Now, especially with this most recent test, that the company's profitable. We know there's market fit. We've sold a ton of these, 130,000 of Miracle Swing already. And so now it's just time to spread the message to a wider audience. Yeah, I mean, you say uh, we've proven the, the, the company is profitable, Christo, but you've been profitable for the last 10 years. So it's just getting more profitable with more exposure and getting it out there to people. So I just want those who are on here right now, because we do have people still on, to go click the link, miracleswing.com slash indication, and join us on this ride. And Christo, like my dad said, when you watch the, the presentation, it motivates you and inspires you and connects to you again and again and again. It means there's something there. And I'm just so proud of yourself and, and, and myself for what we've put in this last year doing the work that we said we were going to do to get it in the position that it is to see the results that we're getting on our recent ad results to keep being here to scale it. So, you know, when you have the right team and you have the right commitment, um, you're not going to stop until you're there. I'm just really proud of what we've put together. And, you know, we want other people to join this movement with us, get a great return on investment on their money. Um, you know, we, we probably should share like, um, like our meeting, you know, this morning, we had a team meeting this morning. There's like six, seven people on the team. And it's incredible when you have the right product, you have the right story, you have the right person behind it and you have the right team. And, you know, we're doing something very unique. What Crystal has and what Crystal's built, if any of you is watching who are in the golf world, which I'm assuming you all are, I am, there's nothing like this in the entire golfing world. And to the, as far as I know, there's nothing remotely even close to the story, movement, and method that Crystal has discovered and is sharing with people. Has the best story out of any golf product in the world, period, end of story. Um, you know, And so, yeah, I'm just excited, Christo, and I'm excited for those who join us because we're gonna get there. 
we're here. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep growing and we're going to keep creating a revolution. Well, uh, you know, the coolest thing is it's the best golf swing. It works the best. I honestly, God, think it can save millions of golfers so much irritation, pain, and struggle, um, and they're going to enjoy golf better. I want my fingerprints to be on the history of golf. I want to preserve history and connect the modern game to the greats that came before us. We've got the ability to do this, guys. We are turning a profit right now. We're going to scale this business. And man, I'm telling you, I can't wait until I can make the Miracle Swing movie. That's going to be, that's going to bring down the house. So guys, I love you so much. Questions, Chris, uh, questions. Does anybody do you, have any questions? Yeah, in the chat box, guys, please uh, chime in with any questions you have, because I want to answer them the best of my ability. So yeah. my main man, RJ, who has uh, been a part of this for a couple of years, thank you so much for, for coming out to an intensive, believing in it, become becoming a student that was featured in the Miracle Swing product. That's fantastic. I also want to thank Paul, who is a, another person that came out for an intensive. I want to take Greg Abernathy, who's come out. Greg Abernathy is our primary investor who funded the seven sacred steps of the over the top miracle swing. God bless you for making that happen. Eric Balms, we've got Stephen, Billy, um, we've got a lot more people. John just came on. We are making this happen, guys. And I really think that the best is, I mean, this is about to blow up. What happened on our team meeting this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really ready to scale. It's the beginning. So, so, Gabe, what happens when we have all those funnels, flows, upsells, downsells, bumps, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, Crystal is, has been profitable and we've been getting more profitable. But, you know, with this money that's coming in, we're, we're building out the proper funnels, which are just customer journeys. And when you optimize that, the customer sequence and the customer flow through all the different courses and products that Crystal has um, and being able to promote the golf schools, well, the revenue just 10Xs because you just have 10X more to give people in a much more sequence, convenient and easy way. So there, there's a business side to this, right? And this is why 99% of golf instructors, um, unless they've had a team like ours and what we've done in the past for, for George and Porzak and instructors like that, they don't scale. They don't make millions of dollars. Um, and like Krista said with Performance Golf Zone, when you put a team of marketers and businessmen that are focused on, focusing on this day in and day out, week in and week out, month after month, honing in the messaging, honing, honing in the advertisement, honing, honing in the customer flows, then the revenue just comes in because we're, we're going after 40 million golfers. You know, we have 26 million in America. We have about another 15 million in other English speaking countries like Canada, Europe, Australia, et cetera. So we only need a small piece of that puzzle to, to be bringing a lot of money and giving our investors a great return on their investment and really doing something well. And everything has shown us that, right? Everything that we're doing is working. Um, it's been working, it's, it's working better and it's gonna keep working more. And so all the signs are leading us in the right direction. And by the way, I wouldn't be here, my dad wouldn't be here. Um, nobody would put in the blood, sweat and tears if this wasn't working. If Crystal came to me and was like, Gabe, I had this dream or something and I really wanted to get this to work and it was flopping and people weren't buying it and you didn't have testimonials and there wasn't any type of hint of it really growing and scaling, I'd say, Crystal, I love it. You know, you got a dream. Keep pushing, brother, but I got to go in another direction. You know, so none of us would be here if it wasn't working and wasn't showing signs of great promise and great reward. That's that's so incredible. So uh, Gabe and I were on a call with um, Bad Rhino Marketing. These are guys who've worked with Revolution Golf, Performance Golf. And when we were talking to Marty and he took a look at everything we had, he said, I think you can compete directly with Performance Golf because even they don't have a culture. We've got a culture and a movement built behind this product. And that was that was almost scary to me, Gabe. You know, he's talking about tens of millions. So Well, we we you know we love this stuff and we we got people, we got plenty of people still on. So, you know, one of the things that's really going to separate us from the marketplace completely is a movement. 
So right now, for me, I study golf membership sites every week. And basically what every golf membership site out there is doing is just is selling content to make your game better. That's it. There's no story. There's no culture. There's no movement. Crystal ties in the original champions of, of the game of golf, the legends of the game, this historical co context of the classic swing versus the modern swing. We're targeting a very specific niche that connect with our message. And it's also like Crystal said, it gets results. It's good for the body. And so, you know, we're, we're creating something bigger than just more reverse hinge technique. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, more instruction. We're, we have something, we have a story behind what we're doing and we have a culture and a movement. And that's what's really going to separate us from everybody else from being just another quick fix tip, another quick fix drill from some other instructor that's, you know, writing, you know, speaking off this copywritten stuff. And it's just not organic. And Crystal really has built something grassroots is what one of the commenters said. And so we're going to ride with that. And we're going to do our best to keep it that way. There's one thing I want to add that I think is really, really crucial is we really connect with an older audience. I'm 55 years old. People who can remember who Sam Sneed was or Arnold Palmer that swung this way. But the most important thing for that older golfer is that they can swing pain free. So right before, like this dropping it under move that people are doing, what that causes is you to tilt your body, crush your lumbar vertebrae, and that's what's hurting everybody's backs. You see these guys getting into this extreme lateral side bend. The OTT move gets the weight of the club back in front of you so you can rotate around through your front leg and not hurt your back. And that is such an important thing for our older golfers that are my major demographic, you know, that they can learn to swing pain-free and hit the most effective golf shots of their life. In marketing, there's a, there's a few sayings. One is if a message is for everybody, it's also for nobody. And if you try to talk to everybody, you're going to talk to nobody. So we really know our target demographic and who we can really serve the best. That's really what it is, is who, Crystal, who and I, who can you and I serve the best? Who can we help the most? Who can we bring the greatest transformation? Who can we bring the greatest outcome to? As marketers, that's where we start. It's like, who can we help the most? And then what are their problems? What are their struggles? What are their challenges? And that's why us targeting this 50, 50 and above golfer that Crystal can relate to, that Crystal can connect to, that Crystal can support. I was talking to Christo and I was like, Christo, you, your golf swing and golf game and golf speed are in the 1% of golfers for your age. What you can shoot, how you can hit it, and the speed that you can swing it as in the 1%. I said, Crystal, your health is in the 1% for, for people over 50 years old. And I'm just saying that because that's what, what Crystal has integrated and done within himself. He can transfer that to others. He can help people in those areas because he is – living from where he teaches. He is healthy. His golf game is in the best it's ever been. So that's the people we can help the most. And that also helps with our marketing and branding. We're not trying to help everybody. We're trying to help the people that we can help the most and impact the game of golf. You know, Gabe, the, when I think back to it, it's almost like I have a tendency to forget about where I started. I built this from the ground up. I mean, like I was the struggling average golfer that was embarrassed about his golf game. And now, you know, I was invited to play at Champions next week. They've got an event at Champions in Houston, Texas. And the Burke family personally invited me to go play there. And it's just, it's a dream come true. But I'm a living example, proof that you can get better at golf. And I think that people that are like myself, that are getting towards the tail end of their career, and they're starting to have a little bit more time to enjoy playing the game, and a little less time focusing on their career, you know, they need to understand these principles that can help them to play great golf without hurting themselves for the rest of their life. I feel my best golf is in front of me. Like I'm going to be better next year than I am right now. And that is the most thrilling thing. You know, so many golf instructors that I know, they were great juniors, played college golf, tried to play pro golf, generally washed out and wound up teaching. 
So their best golf is decades behind them, and they're complaining about my game's getting worse and worse, Christo. And I'm like, mine's getting better. <laughs> Mine, and I want all the people in the movement to have that forward thinking optimism that we can play the best golf ahead of us. And that's really what, and also health. I, people who've watched my channel have watched me lose. At one point, I lost 50 pounds. You know, I've put some weight back on because, I mean, I was getting too thin, you know. But, I mean, the, the health benefits, living a healthy life. People don't know this, but three years ago, this month, I quit drinking. I haven't had a cocktail in three months or a beer. And it's not a bad thing. It was just a habit. I just automatically started to drink every afternoon at five or six o'clock. I don't even do that. And it's not to say there's any problem if you're if you have a drink, but I drank every day for over 30 years. And I don't even do that anymore. I love I love my life. I go to yoga with my fiance, America. We work out, we eat right, I play golf, and I help others play golf better. And now I want to just make the best content in the world and spread this message. It's very, very simple. Well, like I said, for those who really want to support Christo and want to support the the thousand plus videos that he's uploaded uploaded the last 10 years, and you want to partner and support this team that also gives you the potential of a great return on investment and being part of a great movement, then click the link in the comment box, miracleswing.com slash indication. This is the time. I'm telling you, this won't be going on much longer because once we get this business started up and running up and running and start gaining momentum, we won't need anybody anymore. So if, if this was the time that you wanted to support Christo and support what he's discovered and what he's uncovered and what he shared uh, that's transformed his game and that's been transforming other golfers games online, in person and looking to expand that. This is the time. There, there is no other time than this. And you can just reach out if you're interested. We'll get back to you, share all the information we can. But um, if this opportunity is coming to you at this moment in this time, it's going to work. Everything has showed us that it's going to work. It is working and it's going to continue to work more. So that, that's the craziest thing, Gabe, As we start testing ads. Like if we had gone all in on the highest performing ad, our returns would have been way better than even what they are now. And as we complete the customer journeys, and it's it's just going to grow. But your dad said something very important to me a few months ago before we started working on this raise. He said, if you don't have enough, he goes, you've got the product, Christo. It's the best product on the market. Highest production value. The biggest stars are in it, like Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, and it works. And your testimonials are through the roof. But what you need is you got to have enough runway to get this thing airborne. You got to have enough runway to hire the chief marketing officer, to hire the email marketer, the funnel builder, the website builder, all those little ancillary jobs that it's, it's not, I don't know how to do that stuff. And, and you know how to do a lot of it, but there are people who that that's their genius, right? Greg said, if it's not your genius, it's not your job. We now have those geniuses on the team, right? We have all of them. We have the whole team. We all met this morning. We've got seven of the best people. We're talking superstar A plus team members to take this and scale it into the multi millions. It is right now. And it's it's so it's a little bit scary to me when I start to see these sales going do 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 like I, I'm it's like weird I'm I'm looking at the sales I'm like oh my god there's another one click there's another one click and your dad is like you haven't seen nothing yet I'm gonna have a heart attack when this thing gets scaled up yeah we're we're not missing anybody the team has been filled out the team is finished the team is done uh, we're not missing anybody on the team that we need. And we're starting to pay them right now using the investor of my money to start building out everything that we've already been talking about and things just keep growing. So it's like if you have success at this level and you put more gasoline, more fuel, it just keeps going to the next level. More gasoline, fuel, time, attention, energy, it keeps growing. So, Crystal, for some reason, the longer we stay on here, the, the more people are coming on. So uh, but I, but, you know, we do have to do a last call because it's it's getting late. Um, so, guys, the link is in the comment box. 
um, you know, if, if, if you want to miss out, that's fine. Um, if it's, if it's not for you, that's fine too. But if you do feel connected to crystal, feel connected to this movement, then that means you're meant to be here for a reason to be a part of this. And we're excited. We're ready and we're cooking. So let me give everybody my personal email, Christo at miracle swing experience.com. If you have any trouble with the indication form, if you have any personal questions, reach out to me in my email. We can set up a call. I'll call you. I'll talk you through it. I'll explain what the offer is. I will show you how we're turning a profit right now. And we are ready to scale this business. I would love for you to be a part of the Miracle Swing experience. And we're going to take this experience worldwide. So. I don't know what else to tell you, Gabe. Thank you so much to everybody who's patiently been a part of this, this stream. We are, we're doing it. We're doing it right now. And uh, I hope I come back from Augusta with the full round of investment sewn up. And uh, that would be great. I'd like to finish it this week. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Crystal. Thank you for your time. You know, looking at this presentation, I'm just proud of us. That's what I feel. When I look at, you know, I was with Christo in San Diego with Christo and Sedona. And at the time we were filming this, I was like, man, Christo, like we're really, we really had a vision and we really implemented it and we really did a phenomenal job. And I'm like, this is, this is incredible what we're doing. You know, this is, this is what dreams are made of. And, you know, thank you for, for, for joining me and, you know, um, having me join you and yeah, thank you. And, you know, for our investors that are on this call, like Greg, thank you. Thank you for believing in us back then. And man, we really, we made it happen. We, we really shot what I think is the best instructional video in the world. And, you know, we're just getting started. So until then, until next time, God bless everybody. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight.